I have what they uh, called um, an acquired brain injury. Leading up to me getting this injury, um, about a week before the crash, I have, I have no memories. I have no memories for the couple of months after the crash. Um, people have helped me fill in the blanks, um, well, the big blanks, really, from the weekend that it actually happened. See, they've said that the weekend that it actually happened was a busy weekend, which is normal for me because I was, I was always busy. Um, I, was, I, I worked in sales. I, um, I always uh, lived for the weekend, you know, for the football. Not really a big drinker, but I always just, I loved playing football and uh, just going out with the lads and having a good time. So um, I was told this weekend was a really, really busy week, and I, I took my girlfriend out for um, a meal on the Friday. I uh, called to my parents' house on the, the Saturday, helped them out there. And then on the, the Saturday night, um, I believe we were at um, a 21st. Um, but um, I got told that I didn't have a drink um, because I was playing football the next day, which was normal for me. I, I took my... my football very seriously. So um, I didn't have a drink and I went to football and supposedly uh, we were playing a, a neighbour team and we won. And they told me that I scored the winning goal. Now I don't know how much truth is in that but um, so then we went out after the game. Um, I had about two or three pints to celebrate uh, but that was it because I had work in the morning and I knew that um, if I had too much I wouldn't go to work. So, but I stayed out pretty late. I, they said that I went home about three o'clock. So if I went home about three o'clock, that would mean that I only had four hours sleep before I had to get up for work. So um, supposedly I got up for work, I headed off, and then I, I, I traveled loads and loads of times tired. You know, I do the normal things that everyone seems to do. You know, you wind down the window, you turn up the music, you know. But this time I, uh, I must, I must have fell asleep. They, they, they said that I had a, a head-on collision with a lorry. So that I, um, as I said, I, I, I don't remember anything. I was, I was in hospital for, um, for eight months. Lots of different hospitals, to be honest. And um, the only memory that, that I can remember of me coming around is um, me being in hospital and, and waking up and feeling my throat being so, so sore. I wasn't, I wasn't able to drink. I wasn't able to to eat, I could hardly speak. And I remember him just filling me with drugs, you know, just filling me with medication. And then, and then the depression hit home. I got very, very depressed. And with the depression came anger. You know, I was angry with myself. I was angry, well, why has this happened to me? But then after a while, with the support of my family, it, the anger went away. And after eight months, they said I could go home. But I'd need full-time care. So I went home. And <laughs> my mum and dad was tiptoeing around me like, like I was some freak, some invalid. And it, I could feel the anger coming back. So I went a little bit withdrawn with myself, but they could see that. they know me, sure. And um, they started treating me like they used to treat me. And that was, that was the most important thing for me. That's what I needed. Because then I started to accept what was happening. And I knew I had to deal with it. So I started trying to get my life back on track. Now, my, my friends, that's, that's another story, but my friends were... They came and visited me in the hospital a couple of times. Supposedly, sure, I don't remember. When I came home, they came and visited me a couple of times, but... Sure, they just, they, they couldn't accept what had happened. They didn't know what a brain injury was. Sure, even today before I got one. So I don't really blame them. They, they just didn't know how to treat me because I look the same from the outside, but inside, 
I'm not just right that the, my personality and everything's been affected. So I lost contact with my friends, my girlfriend. She, she was under a lot of pressure from me, obviously. I was, I was depressed. I was angry. She'd been through a lot, so we split up, and I haven't had a girlfriend since. But as I said, I was getting my life back on track, and I was determined to do it, so I've been going to the hospital. They've been teaching me stuff. I've, I now use my phone as reminders because a part of my memory's coming back. I can remember stuff from 20 years ago, but if, if you ask me to remember something from, see, 15 minutes ago, five minutes ago, I, I, I wouldn't know. And it's frustrating, but I've, I've learned how to help myself with that. I've, I use my phone for reminders. I use a, a diary to day by day, you know, just to help me live, well, try and live a normal life. So, um, yes, yeah, so the memory, the memory is, is frustrating. That another frustrating thing that I find is if I, if I go outside or if I enter a room and it's a wee bit cold, I'm freezing. If it's a wee bit hot, I'm sweating like a pig. My body temperature and stuff, it's... <laughs> you wouldn't think that your brain would control that, but everything just seems to be linked. And the, the, the main physical problem I have is... Um, I have spasms in my hand. It runs through my arm. And I find... I limit myself where I can go because I get very, very embarrassed by it. So I, I, I can't even go to the football matches no more with my dad. We used to love going to the games, but I can't even go there because I'm, a, I'm afraid that I'll have one of these spasms and I'll, I'll hit someone and I'll hurt someone. And you know, it's, it's not just embarrassing for me. You know, it's, it's embarrassing for my dad as well. So I decided not to do them things. The main thing from well, what I've, what I struggled to understand out of this whole crash thing was, I've never, ever drunk or took drugs while driving. I've never speeded. I've always drive really, really safely, and I've, I've always been aware of people around me and I never thought a crash like that would happen because someone had fallen asleep. They hadn't had enough hours and from that I've I'm really, really struggling with my life.